welcome to Where Are They Now? The show where we dig up your favourite stars from the past and let you know what they've been up to. Who have we got first, Koshy? Remember the little girl from the Sydney Olympics? Oh, she starred in the opening ceremony. Her name was Nikki Webster. And I bet you've been wondering, where is she now? We all know, Koshy. She was on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> all right, then, rack off. On your bike, Webster. Well, I bet you've all been wondering where our next guest has been. She changed the face of Australian politics. She's a redhead, she's a firebrand, and tonight we'll find out what Pauline Hanson's been doing. We know about her too. <laughs> she was on Dancing with the Stars as well. Jesus, how low can they go? <laughs> Tell the dancing racist to piss off. <laughs> OK, then. Well, let's get really obscure. Mm. She won the Gold Logie back in 1985. You know her as Pat the Rat in Sons and Daughters. I'll bet you've been wondering, Rowena Wallace, where are you now? We know. <laughs> we all saw her on Celebrity Overhaul. Oh, you're shitting me. <laughs> oh, Christ, reality TV's really scooping our faded talent pool dry. I don't think there are enough C-grade celebrities to go around. All the producers out there, we are Where Are They Now? This is Has Been Central. Keep your hands off our pathetic once was hacks or the Koshmaster will be on your case. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Mel. OK, luckily our next guest is somebody nobody likes or wants to have anything to do with. He's been mercifully off the air for donkey's years. Please welcome a blast from the past, Daryl Summers. Oh, Cossy. <laughs> welcome back. Now, do you remember a golden time when the Labor Party was a real political force with a leader who introduced Australia to all sorts of progressive initiatives, a leader whose legend lives long after he was thrown from office amid much controversy? Oh, I know who this is? No, it's not Gough Whitlam. He's gone gaga. <laughs> Would you please welcome Labor loose cannon Mark Latham. <laughs> so, Mark, what have you been doing since you left the media spotlight? What do you think I've been doing? I read some fucking books, didn't I, you dork? So, uh, are you still the leader of the Labor Party? No. What are you, an idiot? Uh, yes, she is. Now, Mark, a lot of people didn't vote for you because they thought you had a bit of a reputation for having a short fuse. Oh, uh, well, now that's bullshit. Uh, no, typical no, of no, that. no, 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 you don't have to apologise for that. I once strangled a work experience kid because he forgot that I like two sugars in my tea. That's a mistake you don't make twice when King Kosh is in the house. <laughs> Did he have the kid die? I don't know. All I do know is the next day he wasn't there and my tea tasted sweeter. Now, Mark, when you were the Labor leader, you promised to have our troops out of Iraq by Christmas. Now, it's past Christmas mm. and our troops are still there. Well, I mean, I'm not Prime Minister now, am I? So you broke your promise, didn't you? Bang! A shot down by the Melanator! <laughs> Now, Mark, when we were in the green room earlier, you described Kevin Rudd as a nerdy little turd burger. <laughs> do you think that's prime ministerial language? Well, I mean, I don't want to be prime minister anymore, do I? Ooh, I think we have a scoop on our hands. <laughs> you hate Kevin Rudd, don't you? Yep. You know, one thing I've learned from watching romantic comedies, those chick flicks you like so much, is that when two people think they hate each other, they are actually in love with each other and by the end of the movie, they are kissing. Well, you know, I mean, trust me, that's not going to happen. Can I hit her? That's why we had you on the show, mate. But hold on a sec. Coming up after the break, we catch up with everyone's favourite war criminal, Colonel Clink. Stay with us.